Forgot that. Whew. What's going on, guys? So, black top racing's here at Danny Cow's uh, garage. What was it? The the King Kang's farm. What, what is it? I don't even remember. <laughs> King what was it? King Gang's, Gang's farm? Magic trailer. Magic trailer. <laughs> hey, you see this? <laughs> the alignment. So he's got everything actually worded. That's right front alignment. <laughs> so what we're doing right now is that we're actually going to corner balance the car. I actually just kind of eyed everything before um, and just checking measurements. And it was pretty darn close. The rake was uh, one eighth. And, but that was without anybody in the car. And with somebody in the car, it actually was about, the rear was down just a little bit by one eighth. But, um, so we're gonna kinda see how this all worked out. I didn't record me lifting up the uh, bags of sand and hand them to Danny. I need to interrupt. What's that? So I say, Shane, how much rake do you have? He says, I like to run an eighth. You know, I go, when well, some of me out of CSPs, we're almost, almost running flat, there's no, no rake. I say, oh no man, more rake the better. More rake the better. <laughs> And then he sends me this note. Guess what? Negative rake. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I thought I was trying to put in about an eighth to a quarter inch rake uh, based off of uh, some of the other stuff, but it, it didn't work out that way. So we'll see how it all works out. The car uh, felt good with this negative rake, so we're at least going to try and put it down to zero. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens right now. So he has to put in the blocks in order when he's lowering the car to make sure everything's leveled on the lift. Uh, so they're actually all marked as far as where they go. Um, so a little ingenuity there. I, I do not know how long it took him to make sure all this was precise. <laughs> So, it, it, it's it's all worked out because uh, he's done. Uh, Oscar Oscar is parked out on the street right now. We put him out just for a little while as we're just doing some work here. But um, yeah, so we're actually gonna try and do the whole corner waiting thing. Uh, the bags you can see as a passenger. That's 180 pounds in there, so you, we can actually see where the car is sitting. These are the street tires that I have. The billets. This is a John Lee special right here where he decided to put Mustang billets on the car for his street setup. Um, they're heavy. I mean, this, this is only seven by, 17 by 8 with 225 tires, and they actually weigh a little bit more than the race setup. <laughs> so it, it's, it's kind of wild and heavy as we're taking these things downstairs three flights just to put them on a car. But they don't look bad, actually. It's kind of wild. Yeah. And another thing is, is my garage is usually pristine. It's really, really nice. But this Mike Klein guy, man, he's just such a mess. <laughs> You know, like he comes in and he just can't destroy everything. I, I, I can't work with him while, while he's here when, when, when things just a mess, right? So, so it's not really my fault, it's uh, Klein's fault. Klein. And he loves DP. <laughs> Klein, you gotta clean up your garage next time I'm there, man. It was dirty, it was messy all over the place. <laughs> so, all right, so we're just gonna get to work here as soon as uh, this is all set and I'll try and figure out what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> All right, guys, so what we're doing right now, we're going to check the measurements from each one of the uh, the front seam wells. So they have this uh, little corner gauge here that tells me the height. So I'm going to actually go around each corner and actually uh, check and document each one of these. Uh, what we already did before is that we actually rolled the car on and uh, we disconnected the sway bar. So the front is already disconnected and the rear has been disconnected forever. So um, that's what we're doing right now, just doing some documentation. So on the side, you'll see what the ride height is with some fresh tires on there, um, set at 26 PSI all around. All right, guys, so we're under the car right now, and we're actually going to start making some of the adjustments without jacking up the car and affecting all the preload and all the other garbage. So in the front, what we're actually going to do is that uh, one side is at three-fourths, four and three-fourths, and then the other side is at four and uh, 13, 16. So it's going to raise this side just so that way the front is static. And our 50-50 crossway, or crossway, not 50-50, is currently uh, 50.88. So we'll do most of the adjustments in the rear once we just get the front static. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, let's see what's up. Hi. 
think I can reach everything, so we shall see. All right, guys, so we just uh, went ahead and just balanced out the left side of the car, just raising the left side of the car about a sixteenth of an inch, and um, sixteenth on the front, and then uh, eighth on the rear. So uh, in order to do it, it's best to just jack up the car, take off the wheels, and, <clears throat> and just make your adjustments. But remember, first hand, you always want to check everything first before you even get the damn thing on the scales and jacked up. So we'll go over that later. But um, while I'm down here, I was just looking at everything. Everything still stayed tight. Uh, not a bunch of debris from the rain or anything on the threads. Everything's moving nice and smoothly. So uh, no worries about that. So let's lower this puppy and uh, see where we're at. If we made any change from 50.2. <laughs> To uh, to make this thing a little even, if it does or if it doesn't, fuck it. it it's just staying the way that it is, unless it's something very drastic. All right, here we go. All right, so right now we're at 50. It actually made it worse. So raising the rear left actually made everything worse. So we're just gonna lower it back down and uh, call it a day on that anyway, one. Wait, you can't call it a day yet. <laughs> What's that? Because I have to tell you that I just did autocross triathlon. An uh, autocross triathlon? Yes. What is that? So, for the last four and a half hours, four hours and 33 minutes, right? I waited two hours for an alignment. <laughs> I mounted 20 tires, dismounted 20 tires, and I supervised a corner balance. Uh oh, uh oh. That's longer time than I ran my first marathon. <laughs> So that's Danny's autocross marathon. He's, he's putting in work. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, just make our changes now. All right, all right. So since we're just making our adjustments right now, I'm just gonna show you. So on the Olins, the design, all you have to do is just loosen up the top right here. So that way the body can shift up or down. And then uh, the bottom side here, so that way, again, it can uh, shift up and down. So what I did, I already broke them loose and kept the gap as far as an eighth gap. That's how much I actually did raise the car uh, just now, and it made it worse. So what I'm going to do now is actually lower it by an eighth and a hair, so pretty much um, three sixteenths. And we're going to see how that kind of fares and see if that actually gets us where we need to be. So that is it for right now. So we shall see what's up. I'll uh, be back. So with the Olins, we're gonna try and do this with uh, one hand filming. So with the Olins, since I'm just trying to break down that gap right now, uh, while the spring is already preloaded using the, these two adjustments, the body here, this gold body, is actually just going to free spin on the upper and lower tube. So that's actually what I'm trying to do. That's one, one of the things I love about this two-piece design is that you can make your adjustments without having to worry about any preload. You don't need any helper springs or anything. So that's the whole point of uh, this guy. So as I struggle to get this going, there's no point in filming the whole thing, but yeah, we'll get back. So right now we're at 50.3, which is within that 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 area of uh, 0 0.5. So instead of playing around with a bunch of crap, I'm just gonna actually leave it here. Um, so right now, let's see uh, what the button is. At the baseline recall, wheat nuts, partial. So the car weighs right now, as you can see, 2680. Uh, sorry, wow, dyslexia. Uh, 2658 with a 180 pound person inside the car. Uh, my uh, rear is at 48, and remember, I do have added weight in the back of the car, which I'm not really planning on taking off. I'm just going to leave it there, uh, which is. Uh, the hitch so I do have a hitch on the back of the car um, so right now the weight is at 48.68 percent uh, my left is uh, left side of the car is at 52 percent and then my cross weight is at 50.3 uh, let's see here anything else that this this guy might have I don't know what the hell bite 66 means but okay whatever 
uh, wheel weight, and then per wheel weight. So that's that. Okay. So I like it where it's at. I mean, again, all I really did was adjust the front left um, to raise that guy. And uh, everything seems all right right here. The left side of the car is obviously heavier, so it is what it is. Um, I wonder how it would be like if you just jack up the entire left side of the car to make sure that your left or right side of the car is always even. It'll, it'll probably look stupid as hell. But that's where we're going to leave it right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just connect the front bar, and uh, we'll start wrapping up some things shortly. Catch you guys later. All right, guys, we're all done here. Uh, as you saw the numbers, um, I just posted them up. So the car is looking good. Um, obviously, it isn't fully settled right now as far as we just dropped it. So we haven't rolled anywhere yet, but I'm happy with it. Even uh, just spotting it out, I started out with a 50.8 cross weight, um, and we ended up down at a 50.3. So. Uh, yeah, we're just going to leave it at that. At that point, we're just pulling here. So, not going to. I, I'm damn sure not going to. I'm damn sure Justin doesn't feel like doing it either. So, we're just going to leave it at that and have some fun with the, with the car. And just alignment is coming on Thursday. We're going to get the alignment done. And, yeah, we're just going to drive the car and burn in some tires. So, catch you guys later.